So there's about four versions of Amazon Fire TV sticks currently available as of now. And all of them have only eight gigabytes of internal storage. But when you factor in the you know, apps and other operating system stuff that comes with it, you're only left about 5.5 gigahertz of actual internal storage that you can use, which is definitely not enough. Well, the good thing is you can expand your Fire TV stick storage by simply using an OTG cable and then using a thumb drive. But here's the biggest change though. The latest Fire OS, Fire OS 7, lets you plug in any external hard drive to use with your internal storage. That way you can expand your memory. But doing so isn't actually all that easy because it takes quite a bit of, you know, looking around and figuring things out. So that's what I'm here to do. I'll show you every step of the way. That way you can expand your Fire TV Sticks internal storage. So I'm vamping from Smartness Proxy and let's boost your Fire TV Sticks internal storage, shall we? So before we begin though, here's what you actually need to get started with. Well, the first thing you need is the latest Fire TV stick that's running Fire OS 7. If you've recently bought a new Fire TV stick in the past, say, two to three months, chances are you have the latest Fire OS 7. For example, I bought the Fire TV stick 4K Max a month ago, and it comes with Fire OS 7, which you can check by going to settings, my Fire TV, and about, and look for software version. Now, based on how old your Fire TV stick is, you may see Fire OS, you know, 5, 6, or even 7. So with Fire OS 5, you can only add extra storage as external storage. For Fire OS 6, you can add both internal and external, but this requires a bit of tinkering with the command line, which is not exactly easy, you know, for most people. And finally, with Fire OS 7, you can do it very easily, which we'll see in this video. The second thing you need is an external hard drive or a thumb drive. It's recommended that you use a USB drive that's capable of USB 3.1 or even 3 speeds. For this instance, I'll be using a Samsung SSD and an external hard drive of 1TB. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you want your hard drive as, you know, internal storage, then you'll have to format it to FAT32 format and then all of your data will be gone. And the third thing you need is a micro USB OTG cable to connect your USB drive to the Fire TV stick. You can find it pretty easily on Amazon. It'll cost you around $5 and chances are most of you already have one. Now that you've got all the things that you need, let's see how you can actually boost your storage for your Fire TV stick. First, connect your OTG cable to your Fire TV stick and power on the device without the USB drive connected. That's the most important part, remember, and many people make a mistake here because you know, they connect the USB drive before, so don't connect the USB drive yet. So once the Fire TV is powered on and at the home screen, plug the USB drive into the USB OTG cable. Oh, you do not need to format the USB drive to a specific file format ahead of time. The Fire TV will format the drive for you. So the moment you plug in your external hard drive, you'll see a pop-up on your Fire TV stick. It gives you two options. Use external hard drive as a device storage or external hard drive. If you choose external hard drive, then you can use to see it photos, play videos from your you know, hard drive to your Fire TV stick, and then you can also use the same hard drive with your laptop as well. But if you use the drive for storing apps, you need to select device storage option. Your drive will be erased and formatted to FAT32 format to store apps. So if your USB drive was already formatted with FAT32 file system, you'll not see the above prompt. Instead, you'll need to navigate to settings, my Fire TV, and then USB drive, and then select format to internal storage option. And confirm that you wanna format the drive by selecting yes on the prompt. Once that's done, all the files on the drive will be erased. And that's it. Now check if it's actually acting as internal storage. So go to settings, My Fire TV, and then USB drive. If the option to format external storage is present, then the drive is prepared correctly. If not, then check the OTG connection to see if your hard drive needs external power and then repeat the step again. Now let's say you want to move heavy apps like say the Asphalt game to your USB storage. Then just navigate to settings, applications and then manage installed applications. Now systems app won't move to external storage but if you have installed apps from App Store then you can move that to external storage. If the app can be moved then the option move to USB storage will be present. Not all apps can be moved mind you. So select move to USB storage to begin moving the app. Side note, app data and cache won't be moved to external hard drive. So once that's moved to USB storage, pressing back to return to the app list will now show you a USB icon next to the app name, indicating that it's now on external storage. Now, you're probably wondering what would happen if you installed a new app or ejected your hard drive. Well, if you install a new app that's been you know, moved to external storage while you have the USB drive connected, 
the new app will automatically be installed on your external hard drive. Ejecting or removing the USB drive while the apps are installed on it will cause those apps to disappear. So when you reconnect your drive, those apps will automatically show up on your home screen. Although, one thing to note here is that it's up to the app developer to decide whether their app can be moved to USB storage. For example, I tried moving the Asphalt game and it worked. When I tried Spotify, it didn't really work. But mostly big apps and games usually work. Well, there you have it. That's how you actually boost storage on your Fire TV stick with the latest Fire 7. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, subscribe because that way you get notified every time we put out a new video. Like the last time, we put out a video on how to remap your buttons on Fire TV stick because that's quite helpful and a lot of people need to know. That could be useful to you as well. While you're down there, check out smartdanceproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, you know, BBC One, there's tons of those and you can unlock all those for about five bucks a month on your Fire TV stick without having to go travel to the US and watch it from there. I'm just kidding, of course, you can just do it from anywhere because VPNs are everywhere now. As always, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.